So good morning and welcome to a special episode of Environmental Social Justice. Today I have Robert Catalan, who is the CEO of Focused Magnetics, which but you got to talk to me like I'm a, like I'm a five year old. So electromagnetic Halbach arrays. What is that? Yes. Explain that to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing where everybody's trying to do these days is come up with uh, electric cars or electric trucks. The problem that they have is that the batteries cannot travel as far as they want to because the batteries yeah. are the most expensive part and they're the heaviest part. Um, imagine if you had a way to cut the amount of batteries by half and yet go the same distance as before. So this electromagnetic Halbach array allows us to make electric motors that can do just that. We can make a Tesla go much farther than say 300 miles. We can theoretically, it's almost double that range using our technology. And your technology is lighter than a regular battery? Um, no, our technology, what okay. we've done is that um, an electric motor like this, for example, um, has two parts. This is an electric motor. This part oh. spins. This, is com this comes from a skateboard. So this is an ordinary electric motor. This part spins the wheel, and this part is the stator, which you provide power to. Now, the problem of this thing is that half of its magnetic energy is wasted. And nearly all um, motors today waste 50% of its magnetic energy. And so it's very inefficient. You see, the electric motors that we use today were designed 130 years ago, and they have not fundamentally been improved in any way in terms of magnetics. What we're using today is um, known as the electromagnet, meaning um, there is a, a metal, piece of metal, which people wrap copper wire into and provide power to. Now, this makes it an electromagnet once you power it. But the problem is that the magnetic force is equal on both sides. If, if um, a child were taught in school to wrap this copper wire on a nail and pick up uh, paper clips, it would be able to do uh, that from both sides of the nail. Now, that's the problem. Essentially, for electric motors, half of the magnetic energy is facing inwards, as you can see here, it's wrapped along these individual uh, teeth that they call it. But the, but the force goes inwards instead of outwards where it's needed. So oh. you're wasting essentially 50% of the magnetic energy. So what we've done is uh, to use what's known as uh, electromagnetic Halbach array. We are the ones who have patented this. Um, we have been awarded uh, free U.S. patents <laughs> for this technology. And, uh, and so what that essentially does is that um, we have uh, been given uh, basically the monopoly on making this technology and bringing it out to the market. But the, the counter to that is that we have shared information on how to make this electromagnetic Halbach array. So um, what essentially we've done is, uh, if you remember the analogy that uh, uh, we, we, we talked about over the phone initially, um, so that everybody can easily understand. Please. <laughs> um, we, we, if, if an electric motor has two parts, right? One that yes. spins and one that uh, is provided power to it, if we sum up all of the magnets in this as, say, a pair of uh, male, uh, uh, say, five-year-old, five-year-old children, and they are identical twins, they're male, okay? They are also Siamese twins, they're conjoined back to back. So they are the summary, um, essentially, of all the magnets in here, right? So okay. one of the kids is the North Pole and the other kid is the South Pole. And 
for the spinning part, we also do the same thing, but this time female kids, okay? And now they have to face each other, and because they're conjoined back to back, just like our electromagnets, they are uh, North Pole and South Pole, right? Okay. They, they can only, sorry, they can only um, say the analogy we gave is pick up a puppy, for example, right? If they pick up, say, a St. Bernard puppy, only two of them that actually face each other, these two children, the one male and one female, uh -huh. can reach towards the puppy and lift the puppy. The puppy is an, an analogy for the work to be done by the motor. The other two children, because they're facing away from the puppy, they can't do anything. And right. that is the biggest problem of electric motors. So nearly all electric motors operate this way. And the problem is half of the world's energy today, talking about environmental um, concerns and social justice, half of the world's electricity today is consumed by electric motors, half. So you can imagine the amount of the Earth's resources, the amount of coal, the amount of fuel, the amount of uh, solar energy, hopefully. But there is an incredible amount of CO2 being emitted into the atmosphere because of this um, mm -hmm inefficient electric motors and now we have improved on that and it should stand to reason because Nikola Tesla lived 130 years ago should it not be um, just proper that after 130 years somebody has come along to actually improve on the fundamental design of the electric motor so that we can prevent um, the resources of the earth from being depleted if we do this it is um, it's estimated by scientists that we can save uh, several uh, terawatts of energy every year. And we can also conserve, or should I say prevent, uh, gigatons of CO2 from being uh, brought into the atmosphere every year, equal to the sum of, um, say, removing Japan, all of Japan's uh, electrical consumption, and all of Japan's uh, CO2 emissions for a year, every year, just by doing, just by implementing this particular technology. And beyond, actually, more than just yeah. several gigatons. So you've kind of solved our whole clean energy, clean transportation by inventing, you're Tony Stark. I'm just going to call you Tony Stark from Iron Man. Because when you held that up, that's all I can think of. So I'm like, oh, OK, so you've got the thing. You just got it. This is remarkable. Like. Um, no one else has come up with this, to my knowledge. This is something, I mean, obviously you've got the patents on these, you have the, you know, you have the market on these. Where can people yeah. find you and do this and, and get this into our vehicles and our lives? Well, we are, we are, um, we have been approached and we have been approaching um, uh, car companies like Ferrari has contacted us, BMW we have spoken to, and several mm -hmm. other car companies. And uh, our electric motors are, really unique. It focuses all magnetic energy only where it's required. We tell people that our electric motors and our technology is equivalent to um, fuel injection for, uh, for electric motors. So it's uh, far more precise and uh, far more efficient, far more powerful. So where they can um, um, locate us, well, I'm on LinkedIn and they can contact us through, um, well, contact us at focusmagnetics.com. That's our email address for anybody who wants uh, more information. We would gladly provide a demo with ah. software showing real-time information on the performance of our motors. That's fantastic. I mean, <laughs> you're like in the forefront. I, you're, I'm, in a, I'm actually at a loss for words, and that's a really hard thing for me to admit to. Because this is blowing my mind of just the fact that you are using, because you just said with both sides of the, the magnet, well, 50% yeah. is lost. You found a way to bring both of them together. And if we yeah. can get electric vehicles, so clean energy, yeah. which we're all striving for, but the downfall for electric vehicles is they don't travel as far as people want. 
and charging yeah. a battery takes eight hours sometimes. Yeah. Does it take yeah. as long to charge yours? What's the, how does that work? Well, we have, we have ways by which you can charge our motors um, or, or, or the batteries in the car much faster within, within the span of say 10 minutes or less. Really? To, to full, to maximum, yes. Because that, we that have a particular, is... yeah, we have a particular design that allows both surfaces of our motors to, uh, to operate and to be useful, whereas normal electric motors cannot do that. Huh. I think Elon Musk needs to take, take a step aside here. <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk is fantastic. He uh, says that he is uh, Thomas Edison, and I agree. He's not the Nikola Tesla. He says so himself. Um, I don't want to say that, you know, I'm the next Nikola Tesla, but, well, other people have sort of kind of mentioned that. I, I just sort of... Um, uh, understand that there is a critical need for us to um, make electric motors more efficient or else we will deplete the Earth's resources much, yes. much faster. Africa is coming online. China is already industrialized. Tons of other countries are emulating the very polluting lifestyle of the United States and it yes. cannot hold. We will not make it if, if we do it this way. You are absolutely right. Um, the pollution that's generated just from the mining activities, not just from petroleum, but from any kind of metal we scrape out of the ground, there's a pollution aspect to it. And if we can do this absolutely. in a cleaner fashion and our transportation, because transportation is not going to stop, transportation will not change. In fact, absolutely. we're going to need more transportation. We just have absolutely. to do it better. Absolutely, Wendy. Yeah. And uh, this, uh, this I'm going to say. Um, uh, Elon Musk's model for tons of batteries in, in every car is also not sustainable because uh, it, it's not widely known to people that the car companies in the, uh, in the 60s, they ganged up to get rid of all these cable cars and all of these mass transportation yeah. systems. And our goal is to make sure that we can solve traffic using this technology. Um, with this technology, for example, the United States can make maglev systems, meaning um, magnetic levitation train. We can make it nearly half as expensive as or, or less expensive, so affordable for us. The China has um, installed 16,000 high-speed rail uh, tracks, 16,000 miles. Do you know how, how many miles of high-speed rail that the United States has? Not many. It has We're not good only, at this. It has only 33 miles between Washington, D.C. and New York. In, imagine that. A no, I modern think that's the end. Gra I've taken the train. Yeah. So, so 16,000 in 10 years by China versus 33, something has got to give. If, we, if the United States is to progress, we need focused magnetics, maglev train tracks to ferry us from coast to coast in, in, and China won't be able to, um, to capture the same, you know, uh, progress and I'm, that we can. I'm absolutely on board with that because, um, you know, I have a family history in the train industry, so I love trains. I will take a train over driving a car any day of the week because I don't want to deal with traffic. I don't Absolutely. do well with people speeding around me or weaving or cutting me off. I'd rather just sit on a train, open up my laptop, have my coffee, enjoy life. So I will be one of the first people on those trains if you go to, if you start doing that. Because <laughs> if I need to go to San Diego, San Francisco, anywhere, yes. if I can yes. take a train, that would be my first choice. Guaranteed. Yes. Sleeping sleeper trains, you know, you, you're fresh. You can take a bath. Yeah. You can have a meal. Perfect. We need to kind of revert back to the old style of travel, just faster. Yes, we can make it faster, faster, but just, you know, bring back that level of comfort that we once had, you know, a nice sleeper train, a nice, you know, shower facility. <laughs> that would be fantastic. But on we that, can I mean, also, go ahead. We can also make it an auto train where, where your vehicle, though a much yes. smaller, much lighter electric vehicle, can be on board so that you can have your privacy. You can, you know be safe and uh, 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 assured that 
you have your own personal space. That and when you go on vacation or you move, relocate, you can have take to. your car with you. You don't have to worry about renting a car. How am I going to get around once I get to my destination? That is absolutely have brilliant to. and much needed. I and think we you should all, take over the all, industry. Sorry. <laughs> and we can also solve the problem sure. of delivery because the same systems that we're going to develop with this can take your packages straight to your door without anybody delivering it to you, fully automated. And, and, so, and so, because if there's a track, if there's a magnetic track to, to, to your house, you are absolutely sure that you're not concerned about other people hitting you while you're driving, right? Yes. A fully autonomous driving um, really won't happen if it's shared with human drivers. You can never predict what the human will do. Absolutely. But if you, have, if you have a track that's dedicated for you alone, you're sharing with other people, but you're all going in the same direction and it's controlled via the system, then it's absolutely safe. So instead of people uh, jamming the roads and the uh, communities with the uh, delivery trucks, you can have yeah. food and merchandise delivered direct to your door using exactly the same clean transportation systems. You know, you're, you, there are so many applications to this I hadn't thought of. The transportation of goods and, and services is huge. Yeah. I mean, we all take the highway and we see all the trucks lined up. And that's really, yeah. you know, that and freight trains is, is it. And freight trains are kind of slow. So that, right. could, that could revolutionize the, the entire country, if not the world. This is brilliant. I'm a fan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Andy. We need so, we need we need your your support, and we're really very thankful for the environmental social justice for giving us the opportunity. Uh, kudos and so so many thanks to you for providing us this opportunity to share this. Oh, thank you. That's so, thank you. I mean, that's the whole point of this is trying to give people platforms to talk about what they're working on, what they're doing, and educating everybody else who's out there because we, this is growing exponentially. All the technology is growing exponentially. And it's a little overwhelming right. for people who aren't in this world to kind of yes. understand. That's why, you know, it's always no shaming, no blaming, and every little bit helps. It's literally, if you don't get it, it's okay. We're going to teach you. And every right. little bit, we start with the clean energy, the clean cars, we move into massive transport deliveries, Right. anything. I mean, maybe not airplanes, no tracks in the skies yet, but hey, maybe you'll come up with something that will get solved that problem too. But again, this is brilliant. And, you know, thank you for sharing this idea and this technology. And people can find you at focusmagnetics.com. Is that website up and running? Or? It's up and running, though it's in stealth mode. Okay. People can see more information actually on my LinkedIn page. I will post your LinkedIn page then. I'll put the link in there. Fantastic. And thank you so much. This has been hugely exceptionally educational and i am going to start calling you tony stark so just get used to that one <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah own you it much. you earned you this <laughs> <laughs> all right Looking you forward. thank you, you so much Wendy. We'll wonderful thing you're doing for for everybody thank you